So at this point, the probable cause hearing has been set about six months out for the last week in June. His attorney, Ms. Taylor, actually asked for it to be delayed. Why would she do this? The biggest reason is because right now she's got to request, which she has done, copies of everything the prosecution has from the search warrants that are currently sealed. So what's a probable cause hearing? It's not a trial. It's a hearing where the prosecution needs to prove that it is more likely than not that the crime occurred and that Brian Koberger is guilty of the crime. We're not talking about guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. We're talking about 51%. Remember, they searched him, they searched his house, they searched his car, and everything that they got is sealed right now. His attorney has a right to it, but she has to request it, and then she has to have time to go through it and find out exactly what they have. It's a magistrate in this case, and not the judge who will ultimately handle this if the case goes to trial. And it sounds like the magistrate is expecting some significant evidence to come before her. Set aside a whole week for it. So why is it a big deal that Brian Koberger waived his right to a speedy probable cause hearing? The law guarantees him a hearing within 14 days. And if they violate his rights, and that would be grounds for appeal later. So you notice that the judge said, Mr. Koberger, and addressed him directly and asked him to acknowledge that he was waiving this right in exchange for time to prepare. Please like and subscribe. I'll keep updating you on this case.